Hello, I'm Morgan Reiner in the WUFT Newsroom for Friday, June 17th. Here's your news in 90. Fire crews in Sarasota have their hands full this morning with the aftermath of a massive warehouse fire. The five alarm fire started around 5 a.m. and this 7,000 square foot warehouse. It's unclear if anyone was inside the building or how the fire started. A Phoenix, Arizona Walmart was evacuated after a group of people set off fireworks inside the store. At about 8.30 Wednesday night, employees and customers reported a blaze. The fire was extinguished before it spread to a nearby display of charcoal, lighter fluid and propane. The flames left a layer of floor to ceiling smoke inside the store, along with extensive damage. Fire investigators believe three or four people were involved in setting the blaze. And a Central Florida police officer visited a patient he helped save from the deadly nightclub shooting. Eatonville police officer Omar Delgado visited Angel Cologne at Orlando Regional Medical Center. Cologne was at Pulse nightclub when Omar Mateen opened fire and killed 49 people. Officer Delgado pulled Cologne, who was critically injured, out of the nightclub's safety. They embraced and talked about their experiences. It was the first time they had seen each other since the shooting. Doctors Without Borders says it will no longer seek funding from the European Union. EU money totaled around $52 million in 2015, about 8% of the organization's budget. Secretary General Jerome Oberreit said the organization still plans to keep working in Greece and the near Turkey-Syria border, but will seek money from other sources to keep its projects going. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.